WSBA. I'm Frank Wilt, along with Mario Retrosi. And joining us right now is Terry Dean. Terry is not at home. She's not in her office. She is in St. Martin this morning. Good morning, Terry. Good morning. I actually am in my office. Are you? It just ha- it, yeah, it just happens to be on a tropical beach. Oh, that's it that's is just absolutely phenomenal. I, I'm sorry that you need to work. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do this. We're job, so we're Frank. we're Somebody's we're so got... sad for you right now. <laughs> Trust Don't me. Don't be too sad. Let me tell you, there is nothing to feel sad about today. Not here in beautiful St. Martin. Uh, where exactly are and you I, at? Well, I am on uh, St. Martin on in a beautiful, beautiful hotel called the Senesta. And I want to talk about that a little bit this morning. St. Martin, I want to say, is alive and well. And really, it's only two short years following a devastating hurricane, the likes of which has not been seen in 22 years here on this island. But you really know in less than 24 hours, Frank, of being on this beautiful island that you well understand what has allowed the rapid recovery here. It's, It's the people. They're strong. They're proud when it comes to their beautiful island. And many of the individuals that I've met so far weren't even island natives here. They are, in fact, transplants. They come from America, Canada. Some of them are French-born, and they call this island home. So I want to chat for just a second about getting here. Now, although there are no direct nonstop flights from Virginia or Washington, D.C. to St. Martin, My travel here was really hassle-free from Richmond. I only had one easy connection in Atlanta. Now, other carriers also serving St. Martin make single connections here as well, and that's from Charlotte and from Fort Lauderdale. Speaking of hassle-free, I will tell you my arrival into St. Martin couldn't have been easier due to the new U.S. Customs and Immigration Preclearance Program. There are... are no customs and immigration forms to have to fill out and present along with your passport, just your passport. Easy peasy. Now, here's another great feature of this island is the Sinesta Resort. I want to tell you, you can't go from the Valley Mall to Harrisonburg High School as quickly as you can transit from the St. Martin Airport to this property. It is literally only three minutes between the two. Now, I'm staying and conducting a hotel resort site inspection, I know, tough job, (laughs) at the newly rebuilt Sinesta Ocean Point Resort and Spa. What a true beauty this property is. There are two very distinctly different sides to this resort. There's Ocean Point, which is the upscale adults-only side of the resort, and the family-friendly Maho Beach. It's a little bit livelier and active due to the on-site busy water park area and kid-friendly activities, but it's still all beautiful. The real beauty of this resort, though, is in its intima- uh, um, intimacy. <laughs> Easy for me to say. <laughs> the staff's caring and friendly customer service, and I will tell you there are million-dollar sunsets right from my room window. Uh, Sinesta is an all-inclusive resort. They've got multiple convenient dining options as well as multiple watering holes. And, yes, Frank, there's a beautiful and busy, busy, busy swim-up bar. I know really? you like that when you travel. Y'all yes, indeed. Goodness, I love yes. swim-up bars. Yeah, And it's and it's pretty crowded out there. Already <laughs> this morning? I th- yeah, they all look really happy. <laughs> I bet they, they are. <laughs> <laughs> There's a casino with live entertainment just across the street, as well as a thriving shopping area and variety of local restaurants just outside the doors of this beautiful resort. So lots of things to uh, keep you happy. I was particularly excited to discover that all room types, regardless of level, or the price you pay, come with stocked mini bars and four bottles of spirits in every room, along with my favorite amenity, <clears throat> something called Molten Brown. These are not your average hotel amenity inclusions, and many hotels offer this only for their exclusive, more luxuri- uh, luxurious rooms. Here at Sinesta, everybody gets Molten Brown, and it is wonderful. And I'm talking about 
uh, shower gels, shampoos, conditioners, lotions. Molten Brown is a top-of-the-line product, and it, it is absolutely fabulous. Hails from London, so if you've ever stayed in a really nice upscale London hotel, you might have experienced Molten Brown. Well, here at the Senesta, you can too. You know what they say about real estate, though? Location, location, right. location. And, well, the Senesta Resort has that in spades. One of the most attracting pastimes for tourists and locals alike here is in watching the airline jets make their takeoff and landings right over the beach of the Senesta Hotel. And while that doesn't sound like it would be very exciting or enticing, just ask the people who line up like bald men in a wig factory why they do it. (laughs) It's because it's so much fun and because you can't do it anywhere else. Right. It's part of, yeah, it's part of the novelty of being in St. Martin. And it's one of the most fun adventures that you can do here on the island. Now, that brings me to our adventures here. Now, today, I'm going to be joining a local tour operator to explore many of the exciting things to do while you're here vacationing. One of the things you might want to consider while you're here would be a 15-minute ferry ride over to the island of Antigua or a bit further, 45 minutes by ferry, and you're right in St. Bart's for the day. Remember, St. Martin and St. Martin, the smallest island in the world to actually host two nations, And yet, the two sides of St. Martin couldn't be any more different from one another. You've got the bustling side of St. Martin in the south that gives home to wide boardwalks. You've got your sprawling resorts, beautiful beaches, and late-night casinos. That's the Dutch side. And then the French St. Martin, on the other hand, resembles more of a fishing village. You've got those brightly colored gingerbread cottages and secluded beaches. But I have to say, this visit would not have been nearly as much fun or informative were it not for a little lady named Carla Melo, the group sales manager of the Senesta Resort and Spa. I think she's listening this morning. So good morning, Carla. I found out quickly that everybody loves Carla, and you can't really go anywhere that anybody doesn't know her. Her valuable advice about visits to St. Martin combined with her pride of the Senesta Resort is so, so obvious, and her passion for this home, her home speaks volumes about the love people just genuinely have for this little island in the Caribbean. So all in all, I will have to say one of the best places to visit in the Caribbean. It is beautiful. It is recovered. It continues to recover, and people are just absolutely fabulous here. Yeah, from uh, what little I've gathered from the hotel and just looking it up here, it looks like uh, they took advantage of the uh, the disaster that Hurricane Irma was and pretty much used that to rebuild the entire resort there. So everything's new. They did. Everything is brand spanking new. And, you know, the, the rooms couldn't be more beautiful. We did a tour of the hotel yesterday and um, just saw the beauty and the wonder that is all about the Senesta Resort. If you are looking for a great experience in the Caribbean with top-of-the-line service, this is the place to be. It is fabulous. Now, if people want to get more information about maybe booking a vacation, like maybe a fall vacation or something to Sanasta, how would they go about that? Well, they would want to give us a call at the Wishing Well. We are at 243 Neff Avenue, located in the Valley Center. They can call us at 908 2333 Look us up uh, in, in on Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to try to post some wonderful pictures of this resort and my surroundings while I'm down here. Um, one thing I would say, though, fall is probably not uh, going to be the uh, best time to come. It does tend to get a little rainy and stormy in the Caribbean this time of year. We dodged a, a little storm before our visit here. But thankfully, due to their great customer service, Frank, they made sure the sun was out for us. Well, that's so nice. That's nice. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, that's, that is very, that's very good customer service. <laughs> absolutely. I would say so. All right. Well, thank you, Terry, for being with us today. And, of course, if you want travel needs or flower or any, pretty much any type of event needs, Terry is the person to talk to. Right. Well, we we love what we do and couldn't think of a better place to do it today. Well, get in contact with 
Terry and Harry at the Wishing Well. And again, their number 540-908-2333. Or you can just drop by and see you guys. Well, maybe not uh, Terry, unless you happen to be in St. Martin today. (laughs) Not today. (laughs) No. They'd love to talk to you. Thank you, Terry, for being with us this morning. Thanks so much. Have a great day. You too.